Hey guys, so today uh, we're going to look at the Coase Law again. Okay. Uh, the reason why we want to look at it again is because yesterday uh, we only solved for the sides using Coase Law. Okay, so Coase Law can also be used to solve for an angle. All right. So here we want to solve for angle C. So here's angle C. Okay. Now notice what information we have this time. Okay. We have all of the sides. Okay. So what I want to do is first I want to write an equation um, that includes angle C. Okay. So if I want to write an equation that includes angle C, okay, that means I want to write um, an equation with cos C in it. Okay. Now if cos C is in the equation, okay, then remember what letter has to be up here? It has to be the side C as well. Right? So remember, it's a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos C. Okay, so if I wanted to solve for angle A, for example, then uh, it would have been a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc. Okay? Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're Again, just going to fill in everything we know, right? So side C is 12, so 12 squared is A squared, so A is 8, so here's A, B, C, so A is 8, so 8 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 8 times 6, cosine C. Okay, and now all we have to do is we have to use our algebraic skills to solve for cos C. Okay, so uh, let's first get rid of these two guys. Okay, or actually, let's first calculate the simple stuff that we know. Okay, so 12 squared is 144, 8 squared is 64, 6 squared is 36, 2 times 8 times 6 is 96 cos C. Okay. So now we can add these numbers together. So 144 is 64 plus 36 is 100 minus 96 cos C. Okay, now what people love to do is do 100 minus 96. We can't do that because these are not like terms. This one is just the number. This was a number multiplied by cos C. They are not like terms. So to solve for cos C, what do you think we do next? Well, a good idea is to subtract 100 from both sides. All right? So that gives us 44 is negative 96 cos C. Okay? And now we can do 44 divided by negative 96 is equal to cos C. Okay? So let's see what this is on our calculator. Okay? So 44 divided by 96 negative. So that's uh, negative 0 0.4583. So cos C is negative 0 0.4583. Okay. Now remember how we find C? Yeah, we use cos inverse of zero, negative 0 0.4583. Okay, so make sure that you keep that negative there because that's actually going to make a big difference. Okay, so now we do cos inverse, inverse cos, 117.28 degrees. Okay. All right, so there's our answer. Okay, we have our C angle. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to add on a different question. Okay, so C is, we decided 127.28 degrees. Okay, now I want to find angle A. Okay, so I'm going to make this part B. Okay, so part B is find angle So we have a few ways to do this. Okay, one way is to write out this whole thing again and to do this whole process 
with a here, so a squared is b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Okay, and then isolate cos a, do a inverse, blah, 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 all that stuff. Or we could use the sine law. Okay, so what I would like you to do for class, I would like you to find this angle using the sine law. Okay, all right, so that's it. I'll see you guys in class.